I am Nigel I'm going to be running a pull through test on various pieces of wood. Got a tea nut, a bit of a pine there, got a bit of thin plywood and a piece of thicker plywood that you'd find on a climbing wall so that's 18mm or 3 quarters of an inch. First sample I've got up is a piece of MDF, 10mm thick. I'm expecting it to fail fairly early on. Uh, this is the setup. So we've got a uh, pivot, which is the pole with the yellow markers on. Marked off every 41 and a half centimetres. With my weight, that's a thousand kilonewtons every time I hang one step further, that's an extra 1000 kilonewtons. The bar itself is set up with a 1000 newton load on it at the moment. And we're ready to go with the MDF. So what you can see at the moment is the bar itself, so the mass of the bar and the uh, sample. We've got 1000 newton or 1 kilonewton force on there. Uh, the BS regs say a climbing wall has to uh, has to withstand a pull through of five kilonewtons. So that'll be me hanging at uh, the fourth point, which is the one in the middle. So this piece of MDF failed between three and four kilonewtons. Here's the T-nut. It's a hammered in T-nut with four prongs. So we couldn't use that on a climbing wall, but I wouldn't expect to be able to anyhow. Okay, I'm going to mount up the plywood next, which is a 10 mil thick a uh, five layer piece of plywood Plywood failed at just over three kilonewtons. I could hear it going at three. So we'll move on to the solid pine. Pine was good for between seven and eight kilonewtons. I had that mounted across the grain so that the wood wouldn't split. Finally, the intended plywood for the climbing wall, 18 mil thick, three quarters of an inch.
Well, the plywood was good for nine kilonewtons, which is the rig that I've been using. It's all 10 mil bolts. I can see that this one started to pull through at nine kilonewtons. That's uh, a lot of weight. Nine kilonewtons is about uh, 15 people. 15 me's standing on it.